Welcome to today's tutorial by CAS Academy. Today we will be looking at how to solve linear equations with two variables using the substitution method. To solve a system of linear equations with two variables using the substitution method, the first step is to choose one of the equations that you're given. And it doesn't matter which of the two equations that you use. What I like to do is I like to choose whichever equation is the simplest and has the um, smallest coefficients in front of my variables. So I'm going to start by choosing this first one that I have listed here in red. So that's minus x plus y equals 2. Step two is we're going to take this equation and you're going to solve for one of the variables. So with my equation, I'm either going to solve for y or I'm going to solve for x. And it doesn't matter if you're going to choose to solve for the x or if you're going to choose to solve for the y. And all that means when we're going to choose which variable we're going to solve for, it means we're going to have the variable on one side of the equal sign, so the variable is going to be on the left, and then we're going to have an equation on the right. So I'm going to take my original equation and I'm going to rewrite that. I'm going to move things around so I can solve for my variable. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for y because the y doesn't have any coefficients in front of it. So what I want to do in order to do that, I want to get y by itself. That means I need to move that x over to the other side. We do that by doing the opposite function. This is a negative x, so that tells me I need to add x to both sides in order to move that x from the left side over to the right side. That's going to cancel those out to make zero x's on the left. I'm going to bring my y down, and that's going to give me x plus 2 on the right side. So now I have just rewritten my equation in terms of y. So I just solved for y. Now I'm going to move on to step number three. And I'm going to replace or substitute, which is why we get the term, the substitution method. Substitute the variable. In my second equation, with the solution, the solution that I solved for in step two. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to write down that second equation because now we're going to use the second equation, which is the equation I have in green. So that is my 4x minus 3y equals minus 8. And now what I'm going to do is this y right here, I'm going to take what I just solved for, so this solution right here, 
and I'm going to substitute that in my equation. So now my equation is going to be 4x minus 3, and then instead of writing down the y, I'm going to plug that solution that I got in step 2. I'm going to plug that in, substitute that for my y, and now if you'll notice, now I just have x's in my equation. So now I can finish this equation and solve to get a value for my x. So that's going to be 4x minus 3x, 3 times negative 3 times 2 is a minus 6 equals minus 8. Then I'm going to combine my like terms, so 4x minus 3x is going to just leave me with an x. Now I want to move that 6 over to my other side, so I'm going to add the 6 to both sides. Bring down my x, that's going to be 0, those are going to cancel out. Minus x, excuse me, minus 8 plus 6 is going to leave me with a minus 2. So that tells me that x equals minus 2. So now that I have solved for my x value, my last step is I'm going to plug in the value that I solved for in step 3. I'm going to plug that in, plug the value that I solved for in step 3 into my first equation. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write that first equation down again, that minus x plus y equals 2. Minus x plus y equals 2. Make sure I wrote that down correctly. And I'm going to do another substitution. So where I have my, whoops, wrong one, wrong variable. So where I have my x, I'm going to plug in that minus 2, and I'm going to do another substitution. So I'm going to write minus and then instead of an x, I'm going to plug in that minus 2 from what that I got in step 3. And now I'm going to solve for my y. So a negative times a negative is going to give me a positive 2 plus y equals 2. And then I want to get that 2 over to the other side, so I'm going to do the opposite. That's a positive 2, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. Bring down my y. 2 minus 2 is 0, so that tells me that y equals 0. So now I have values for my x and my y. And that tells me that my final answer 
is going to be, I'm going to take my, is going to be minus 2 and 0. So you have your x value that you calculated in step 2, excuse me, step 3, and your y value that you calculated in step 4. If I was to do if I was going to solve for x instead of the y, you're going to go through all of the same steps. It's just a process of making a choice and then doing substitution. And that should answer your questions for using the substitution method. Substitution method can be used for any set of linear equations with two variables. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to get the latest videos by CAS Academy. And be sure to check out the links in the description for additional supports and resources.